Well, look at all those signs. The federal election is here in Canada. And there's one thing about this federal election that really bothers me. And that's everybody saying, get out and vote. Get out and vote. Get out and vote. Well, what about the people that don't like the candidates? It's not easy to become a candidate, a valid candidate, to run for a party. It's not easy. There's not a lot of choices is what I'm getting at. Not just anyone has a chance at leading this country. So what about people like me that don't want to be told by you that I need to go vote because I have voted. I voted since I was 18. That was a long time ago. And listen here, I've never been happy with the candidates. And I think it is stupid to vote for somebody that you like. Nah. <laughs> Look at this dog, he's so cute, he's so happy. So yeah, I'm out for a walk. I love this. So like I said, I've been voting since I was 18 years old. And I, frankly, I am sick and tired of just picking a candidate that I dislike the least. Because basically, take everything you like about a platform, take everything you don't like about a platform or that other people say is bad, and cancel all those out, and you always end up somewhere in the middle. And knowing that, and knowing that I can't really find a platform that I like unequivocally, I don't want to vote, because I'm just voting for somebody that I don't really like that much, but I guess they're okay. And to me, that is not a good reason to cast a vote. If there's no candidate that I feel should be running this country or this province, depending on the election, I don't think I should be casting a vote because I'm at the point where I don't care anymore. I don't. Nothing really changes. The, you know, the parties change hands, who's in power. And, you know, there will be slight changes to your life and it's easier just to adapt because nothing significant ever really seems to happen. So I don't care anymore. I don't care to research the platforms. I don't care to listen to debates. I don't care. So don't tell me I have to vote. I don't want to vote. And that's my decision. Just as it's your decision to vote for whoever you want. And don't be telling other people that they need to vote, especially younger people, because you don't need to. An uninformed vote is far worse then no vote at all because now you're throwing a hat in the ring when you're not necessarily sure if you want to and you're throwing logs on a fire even though you don't know if you want the fire to burn and that's just dumb so this is a short vlog but it's been something i've wanted to talk about for a while don't tell people they need to vote if they don't want to i guess i should say at the same time if you do feel strongly about a party's platform and you feel that it fits your life and what you want, then absolutely go vote. But more importantly, don't tell me I have to because I don't want to. Have a great day guys. Fox P2 out. Featuring Bodine 52 from the beautiful state of Pennsylvania. We've got a beautiful card, like the color scheme, nice sunset going on in there. We have a Bodine 52 sticker. Again, it's got that nice kind of soft quality to it that I've seen on some few stickers before. Motorcycle Den comes to mind, uh, JT Hickman comes to mind. And we have a note. 
Hey brother, enjoy your channel. I hope you recover from surgery soon and strong. Be safe on and off the bike, Bodine 52. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for wishing me the best. It was a bit of a road, but hey, you gotta take care of yourself first. If you haven't checked out Bodine 52, please do. And thank you very much for your mail and for your kind words, sir. Hope you have a great day.